Trevor, good to catch up with you. Thanks for taking some time with us here. It is game week for the volleyball program as you open up things here at home. Uh, give us an idea of the excitement during the program as you enter this uh, extended, I guess, 2020 season, but we all know it's 2021. And uh, how happy are you and the girls to get going here? Man, we're excited. It's It's been a year, right, since we've uh, actually played a match and, and uh, our girls are chomping at the bit. Um, you know, we are very excited to finally play a match, especially in our brand new arena. And, and you know, just going to a basketball game, it's the excitement there, even with 250 fans, is, is still awesome. Uh, it's just a tremendous venue, and we're very blessed, uh, you know, to be a part of this as well. And, um, you know, we're just excited. You know, we're, we're finally, we've been getting at each other, you know, every day in practice. And so finally now it's it's time to unleash that, you know, the energy uh, against someone else uh, in a good way. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, I think our girls are ready to get after it. Uh, our fans are going to be excited at the style of play that we have and, you know, really excited about who we have in our gym right now. Trevor, we want to unpack a lot of stuff here with this uh, program, and you get things going underway on Friday, hosting VCU, part of a four-game home swing, and we'll, we'll talk about that schedule in a minute. And I was out with your team uh, at practice, maybe back during football season, just doing some social media stuff, and regardless if it was practice or not, and the season was pushed back to the spring here, it seemed like the girls and the vibe was – still cool and how challenging has that keeping practice fun and interesting knowing man we're not gonna be able to compete in a match for a long time now yeah that, that's a lot of credit to our girls you know we um i think we as coaches we are environmental engineers and uh our job is to create these environments where one there is some psychological safety you know they can kind of be their own person and and come with, you know, all the things that are going on and whether it's good or bad, you know, whether they had a good day or a bad day in class or whatever, you know, we are all, we are a welcome arms, you know, and so um, credit to our girls for just coming in each and every day, working hard, regardless if we played a match or not. And, and uh, you know, that, that came also at, at 6.30 a.m., you know, when we had lifting all spring, you know, um, that was, um, you know, a testament to them as well. And, uh, sorry, in the fall, in the fall, we're looking at 6.30 a.m. So, again, you know, that's just a testament to our leadership with uh, our seniors and with Keenan Williams, one of our captains. You know, that's just uh, that's a huge part. And, and so our girls, they love coming to the gym. You know, uh, we have our practice set up. Most of the time they're there, you know, a half hour beforehand serving and passing on their own just because they, they like being around each other. So uh, I think as us coaches, we're trying to – have a family style kind of a program. By no means are we perfect. We have our problems just like everyone else does, but uh, I think it's a genuine, you know, care because we want to do well and, you know, we want to win a lot, but then give God the glory. So uh, I think it's a testament to our girls coming in every single day to work hard and just to get a little bit better. And that's the goal is just even today's practice. Yes, it's a VCU week, but our goal is just to get a little bit better today. And um, that's been our goal since day one is just how can we, be a little bit better each and every day. Joined by Liberty Volleyball Coach Trevor Johnson on our weekly audio show presented by Carter Bank and Trust. You bring me into a good segue, Trevor, when it comes to improving each and every day. Uh, you're in your third year, and it's been longer than that since you took the job, uh, but third official season starting under your leadership. Uh, 10 and 5 and 18, uh, or 10 and 6 and 18, 11 and 5 last year in a Sun play. How do you judge improvement? Is it wins? Is it sets? Is it points, digs? What's your philosophy on improvement and where have you seen it since you've taken this program over? Yeah, I think I want to be careful that I don't, you know, get into the worldly standards of, you know, like what does winning look like? Yep. Um, you know, I think for me, success is measured in changed lives. And, yep. uh, you know, I want to make sure that that's my focus. And I think our success on the court uh, is directly related with how well we treat each other and, and, and how hard we push each other in the gym. Um, you know, volleyball is a small part of the big picture. And, uh, you know, I, I want our girls to understand that as well. And I don't want their identities to be tied in volleyball. You know, volleyball is just something that they love to do and, and have joy in. Uh, you know, our identity should be in Christ and we should be playing for him. So I think as long as that's our focus, I think the wins and losses 
you know, will take care of themselves. And, and so I'm, I'm trying not to fall into that myself, especially this is being, you know, year season three for me. And, and of course, I want to win the ASEAN championship. And, and I know that at some point we will, you know, but uh, right now, most importantly, we're just trying to get better tomorrow. Trevor, when I talked to uh, Coach McKay about uh, basketball and he he reminds me um, when we do chat about made baskets and he said, Alan, I don't judge the success of our team on made baskets. Uh, he does judge the team um, and, and grade them on the quality of shot, regardless if it goes in or not. And I think that gives a shooter so much freedom that I'm not going to be uh, judged on whether or not this shot goes in, but the quality of shot, not a, not a good shot, not a great shot, the best shot. Is there a stat in volleyball that compares to that when it comes to, okay, whether or not the success of it was great, here's how we set it up. Um, is, is there one or two in volleyball that maybe you can talk about? Yeah, I think for us, it starts with the serve. And, yeah. um, you know, we're looking for 90% serving in. So regardless if it's a ace or it's a perfect pass, you know, we're just looking for a nine out of 10, in a sense, uh, serves made. So we've been really harping on that a lot. And, um, you know, sure, defense is important. Um, you know, being able to side out, you know, is also very important. But because serving is the only skill in volleyball, you have absolute control over you know, you don't have to worry about a set or a pass. It's just you and the ball. And, uh, you know, we do spend a lot of time practicing our serving. So I, I think if anything, we're trying to be really good from the service line. And again, not worry about aces or, or errors, but just can we be nine out of 10? You know, at the end of the match, are we 90% serving in? And I think uh, there's a high correlation of, of being able to serve in and, and winning. Coach, looking at your roster here, um, I see Amelia, redshirt senior, uh, Maya Williams, a senior, and uh, another redshirt senior as well. Would you consider your, your team a young team? And if so, uh, how does that uh, youthness and uh, vulnerability with how don't know all the answers, how does that help a team you know? But also, you need leadership on the back end of the roster. So, what do you like about the mix up of your team right now? Yeah, you know, having the three seniors, uh, they've been great. They've been very welcoming to our, our incoming kids. Uh, I think at first there was a, uh oh, like who are the new kids on the block a little bit. But uh, once they understood, they're like, hey, we're, we're in this together and uh, we're all here for the same reason and we want to win and, and, and glorify God. And, and so I, I think um, having them understand that, I think has helped a ton. And, um, Part of that is, you know, um, we do what's called the, the four H's. And uh, so each girl, you know, during double days has gone around and and said, you know, who's their hero? And uh, maybe there was a highlight, you know, whether on the court or off the court. What was their heartache? You know, something that they struggled with or have gone through. And and then if they have a, a honey or a you know boyfriend or, or right. a, a dog or animal. So yeah. I think just our girls getting to know each other and, and, and how they tick and, and how they, how they receive love, how they give love, you know, how they, um, you know, want to be talked to if, if they're down and out or if they're struggling. Um, I think that has truly helped uh, this program and, and it's definitely helped our seniors, especially with the freshmen getting to know them and, and what makes them tick and what they need from them. And it also helps us as a staff to, to figure out how we can approach them and, and what they need best. But I think we're starting to gel. I mean, obviously we haven't played any matches yet, so we don't know, but um, I think with what we have right now going forward, I'm really excited. And for those fans tuning in, uh, what Trevor's talking about with uh, talking to the players on a personal level, getting to know them off the court is true, folks, because I remember that time I came to practice, uh, you introduced me to the, to, to the kids and – you, you said, okay, Alan, you're part of this family. You have to open up, you know, what's your favorite ice cream or whatever it was or cookie <laughs> yeah. or dessert. And I think it was dessert. And um, it, it, it lowers walls or anxiety of like, Hey, I, I haven't met these student athletes before. Some I have, some I haven't. Um, but it's amazing when you talk to people and you relate to them. And even if it's important of calling their name, right. You know what I'm saying? Like things that, 
we can't change that we grew up learning about the importance of our last name, our family, and why we are here um, through you know God's creation. I think when you relate that. Uh, especially here at Liberty, it, it can lower a lot of anxiety. Do you feel that as well, how you operate your program? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I, like you said, I, I think just it, it lowers barriers for sure and it, it breaks down walls and, you know, maybe you have these assumptions about someone and you realize, man, like they have it tougher than I did, you know, or or maybe there was a something that someone went through that one of our players is going through. And then, so there's that, instant connection that instant bond and, and they can help you know each other through it and i think that helps on the court as well you know there's there's um you know i i have some love for my teammate now and and uh it like you said it, it breaks down those walls and those barriers and i'm not you know competing against you i'm, I'm competing with you you know and we're we're trying to make liberty volleyball better all right trevor let's kind of dive into to some of the student athletes you have um i am so hesitant to mention a lot of folks by name because we don't have the time to do it and it's an injustice if we don't mention everybody on the roster because i know they're all important uh, but from a team perspective what do you like up about this team when fans do watch and and uh, the, the fans are able to come to the arena uh see this team play uh, what type of style what type of action uh should we see here in 2021 yeah you know i, I think that you're going to see a lot of athleticism you know we have three incoming girls now in our gym that touch over 10 feet which is a big deal in, in women's volleyball uh normally nine five nine six is like your typical average so being able to touch the rim you know for a female athlete is, is really big and and uh you know so we have two of those girls that can play multiple positions um which makes it really hard for teams to scout us uh, maybe one match they're playing outside but maybe the next set we change them to the right side so we have that flexibility you know if, if we need to um we can do it in match we can do it in between sets uh there's just a lot of flexibility so uh I'm, and not only great athletes but they're great people and uh they love the lord and and uh they're they're funny they're quirky you know in their own way and and they just bring a, a different style you know to the gym and, and different uniqueness so i'm excited about them excited to finally see kenya williams play you know she had a devastating ACL injury you know a couple of years ago was supposed to play this past fall um that got pushed back and so she's just been chopping at the bit and and uh, talking about a kid that has some grit you know and uh did not come out highly recruited and you know had something to prove so she had that chip on her shoulder and you know she's she'll tell you the at first that she's not you know she's she's still trying to be a good leader you know she's there's some things that she needs to work on and and uh, you know, just as we all are, we're trying to get a little bit better. And she's she's definitely working on that too. And uh, I think the girls in, in our gym just respect her because she works so hard and and uh, they, they want her to succeed. So I think having a team that wants other girls to succeed more than themselves, uh, I think that's invaluable. And uh, you know that that to me is, is success. And so if we can sustain that and keep that, you know, I think sky's the limit for us this season. I know I try to follow that creed as well. Um, it's amazing how much can get accomplished when nobody cares who gets the credit. Sure. In today's world, it is so hard to do that, uh, to give up getting mine uh, for something or someone else. And if we can all uh, be that unselfish, regardless of what it is that we do in sport or life, um, a lot of great things can happen. Uh, before we let you go, Trevor, uh, I do want to touch on the schedule uh shifting things around uh you know following safety protocols and what the a sun has told you to do um again you open up with four straight at home with vcu old dominion and lipscomb as you open up a sun play uh what were some of the uh challenges or here's a kind of quirky story of this particular matchup that maybe will be interesting to the fans tuning in yeah one thing you'll notice is that um you know, obviously we as coaches still have to wear masks. The, the girls don't have to wear masks because they're getting tested three times a week. Right. Um, and that's why we did that. Uh, we're also going to be staying on our same sides. So normally you see a switch in between sets. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to avoid, you know, contact through the net. So uh, we'll actually be on our same side the whole time. Okay. Uh, I think also too is normally our girls stand up during the matches. You know, they'll be sitting down in chairs. So um curious i'm curious to see how that's going to go because they love 
having their own cheers for each girl and and uh so i think they're still trying to figure that out too so it's a, it's a learning process with that but, and and um yeah just it's it's different and the fact that our girls um they have to run back by themselves to get a ball to go serve so no one can no one can toss them a ball uh, they have to run back grab it and then wait for the whistle so a couple of nuances but you know at the same time at least we're playing and uh you know i can't complain you know we can't either and we're glad to get this thing underway on friday 10 a.m against vcu and uh quick thought on the arena you've been in there to work out a couple of times we've obviously had a few basketball games uh, from a volleyball perspective uh again we're, we're some time away from having a huge home court advantage with lots of fans in there. But uh, that being said, regardless, it's a very intimate setting. I know uh, something the administration's already talked about, looking forward to seeing how uh, the girls compete in there on that Terraflex, Terraflex floor, which uh, we've heard a lot of great things about. Uh, so how have the workouts gone in the arena and uh, the nuances from a volleyball perspective? Uh, what are some of those you've seen so far? Yeah, the, the, the arena is awesome and it's state of the art. Um, we, I have a buddy who was an assistant coach with USA Volleyball for a number of years and, and won a couple Olympic medals. And he was actually the head coach for the Netherlands last year. And he came and visited us and just watched our team train and, and he saw our gym and uh, he's like, man, like this is like a top 10 gym mm. in the country. And, and I know it's mostly basketball and I get that, but you know, in terms of like a volleyball venue, this is yeah. the perfect, like, perfect volleyball venue and uh so i just again we're very blessed to be in there but with the terraflex flooring um you know just kind of adds to the aesthetics of the gym the new, the new look and um you know obviously it's a lot safer for our girls just in terms of the jumps and this the the dives and landing and um you know it's just it's going to add like another cushion of layer um you know for them and and um yeah most most professional teams uh, across the world have it. Um, USA is still kind of um, new when it comes to Terraflex and, and most most power fives do have it. So, you know, we're very fortunate to, that we can be one of them, you know, and uh, again, just very blessed that we can be in this state of the art arena and uh, just to showcase our talents, you know, in front of our fans. What's it like going into a season opening match as a coach? Do, do, do you get the butterflies? Do you get kind of antsy and any any pre-match superstitions that um, I know for Hugh Freeze, he, he wears the same set of cleat. I think it's a pair of cleats or golf shoes uh, for football game. A lot of people don't know that story, but he's had them for years, and it's a it's a Tiger Woods model, and it's pretty cool that he shared that story with me. So anything like that for you uh, leading up to uh, matches uh, that are kind of interesting uh, from the Trevor Johnson perspective? Um, yeah, no, I'm you know. I, one, I'm just trying not to screw it up mostly. So <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, just to make sure I just go through my, whether it's a morning game or it's a evening game, you know, just trying to keep the same routine, whether I get a workout in or, um, you know, just something to not think about the game as much. Um, and, and then for me, you know, the work's already been done. So, you know, at that point, I'm just trying to just be the best supporter and the best encourager, you know, that I can. And, you know, call a couple timeouts and, you know, a couple challenges that I lose, but you know, that that's, that's just part of the, the game. So I'm just at that point, you know, just trusting in them and, and letting them play free and, and uh, not trying to get too high or too low emotionally. And cause I don't want them getting too high or too low emotionally either. So uh, not too many peaks and valleys, but just a little bit more consistency. So that's, that's how we approach it. That's well about Coach Trevor Johnson opening, th opening up things on Friday against VCU here at home. Trevor, appreciate the time, and uh, go get them this year, okay? Go Flames.